The Walter P. Cook Award is reserved for a non-alumni who has made an indelible impression on the university and who encourages others to follow suit. At 97, Stephanie Mucha remembers well the stock market crash of 1929 and having to leave high school to help support her family during the Great Depression. Later, she worked for 44 years at the Buffalo VA Medical Center, where she was one of only 100 civilians to ever receive the Purple Heart. After Mucha witnessed a demonstration of the first implantable cardiac pacemaker at the VA, she and her late husband invested $255.50 in the company that licensed it. The rest, as they say, is history. As a self-taught expert investor, her knowledge of the market and her success is so extraordinary that Barron's, America's premier financial publication, profiled her in its September 2014 issue. In fact, just about an hour ago, I read that cover story that Stephanie had brought with her. I'll also say in all the years I've been hosting this event, Stephanie is the first person who sang the alma mater with the Buffalo Chips. <laughs> <laughs> Living in the South Campus neighborhood and having no children of their own, the couple agreed to someday provide a scholarship to support UB students. Since then, Mucha has contributed significantly to the university and several of its schools, including dental medicine, engineering, medicine, nursing, and the College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you for supporting our university, and congratulations to Stephanie. everybody. <laughs> what can I say? He said it all. <laughs> First, I want to thank the University of Buffalo Alumni Association for honoring me with this distinguished award. <laughs> Sorry, I get emotional. <laughs> After I was notified I'd been selected, I wanted to know something about Walter P. Cook. I learned that he did not attend University of Buffalo, but a generous benefactor and trustee. In 1920, he reorganized the university and took responsibility for its destiny to be a great university. I am humbled to receive such a beautiful award. My relationship with UB began many years ago. My husband Joseph and I lived near the campus. In fact, it's on Winspear. We came from very poor families. My husband was an orphan from Poland and we could not afford to go to college. We enjoyed talking, taking walks on campus the evening when we could meet students along the way. Many years later, I was a patient at the UB Dental School where I received wonderful care. I was a pilot study for capping with Dr. Milton Brown. Pilot study, <laughs> can you believe that? <laughs> Knowing UB as we did, we decided to make donation for student scholarships. We have been very fortunate in being to fulfill that dream. I worked as a licensed practical nurse at the VA hospital. One day, I was in a research when Dr. Wilson Greatbash 
implanted the first maker, pacemaker in a dog. I will never forget how the tail waggled and then the head moved in a matter of 20 minutes or so, the dog was walking around the lab. A miracle, I said. <laughs> I told my husband that night that I had seen a dog come to life. We learned what company was going to make the pacemaker and invested. We could only afford a few shares, which was 50 shares at $5.11. Well, the rest is history. We kept that stock, but it ended up, the company gave us splits, and we ended having 8,500 shares at $54 a share. Today, it is $78 a share. Joseph and me share our good fortune with the university. Joseph is gone now. He will be very proud to accept this award with me. So I accept this in his memory. Giving the university has brought me much joy. I have made many friends and so many students. I want to thank all of my, my university family who have been so kind presidents, provosts, deans, faculty, students, and the development friends who come over and have tea with me sometimes in the afternoons. <laughs> I am blessed to be in a position to give the university an honor and grateful at being chosen to receive this award. Thank you again, the Alumni Association and all who helped me make this possible. Thank you. Stephanie and I rehearsed not mixing up our notebooks before the program began. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>